That tastes like a little cold wind blowing. Sorry, Turner. I don't know that was cheesy. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, a little bit of a different review here today. I'm going to be reviewing a film called Cold Wind Blowing. This is done by a Canadian independent film crew, particularly one of them being Turner Stewart. This is a friend of mine. D.O.P., the lighting, the editing, he did a lot. This is a movie that was basically made on peanuts, and it looks like it was made on walnuts. Uh, sorry, I don't know if walnuts is more expensive than peanuts, really, to be honest. At least to say, this movie does an exceptional job at looking a lot better than what it was made on. This film follows a group of friends who are going off to a cabin up in Cypress Hill, which is someplace in butt foot nowhere of Saskatchewan, so basically the entire area is a horror zone. While they're there, they're going through their own drama between their own family drama, previous relationships, the fact that it's Christmas, and there's some weird weird fucking thing in the woods trying to kill them. Now, funny enough, actually, this thing is not even as much of a factor into the film as you would think it would be. This actually has a lot of character and a lot of drama in it, and you would more so call it a thriller rather than a slasher or a horror movie because this film really does focus on its characters. This film has a pretty decent runtime. It's got an hour and 45 minutes or so, and it keeps you engaged with these characters, with what they're going through, where they're going, and what's happening to them a lot better than most fucking independent films. So definitely going to give them credit for that. The cinematography in this film, and it's not just because I'm tickling your balls, Turner, but you actually did a pretty freaking good job. I'll admit that the colors, the angles, the creativity with absolutely having almost no money and no means other than yourself to do this, I think that Turner did a very good job in terms of how he shot it. And then definitely giving props to Dion for directing this film, you can really delve into these characters, how they're coming across on the film, as well as how the actions are being portrayed on film, you can believe these people. And by that I mean that they're all assholes. There's not very much of in terms of a likability for a few of them, but eventually you start to realize that they're not the stereotypes that they turn out to be, or as they're first portrayed as. They actually kind of start to develop layers, and there's more to them than just what your initial thoughts of them are. So we got great cinematography, we got great acting, we actually actually got a pretty cool story. As I said, there's much more focus on these characters. Don't go into this thinking this is a monster movie right off the bat. It builds up to that, something that's not very much done in horror films lately. And when they are teasing you with the creature, it's actually pretty good. There's some decent horror in it. Again, the Foley artist's work in this film is done pretty well considering how limited of a budget it is. There's only one thing I, I can't give a positive to it. It's the monster. That's the one negative I'm going to give for this movie. I just didn't take it seriously. Every time it came up on the screen in its full, I was just like... <laughs> so that's my only complaint, is just that. For a film of this length with these kind of actors, pretty darn good. And again, I enjoyed this movie. And I'm not doing that just to tickle them, but I actually did find this film engaging. I Again, this, the monster bit, I just couldn't take that seriously once it was fully on screen. But aside from that, I do think this is a movie that you should check out. It's a little bit difficult to because it's on a film festival trip. Apparently they made this movie about a million years ago, according to what Turner has told me. It's finally going through a circuit, a film festival circuit, which is great for them because they're finally being acknowledged for all the hard work that they put into this film. I'm going to put a trailer link in the description below. And once the film does become available, I'll add that to the the description later on into this and I'll do a little shout out for them about that too. But otherwise, if you guys haven't heard about this film, I would definitely check it out in as much as you can. Also, one other thing I forgot to talk about, the music in this film, done by Graham Trudeau, I believe his name is. Yes, it is. He does a really darn good job. I think that his music is pretty cool. I did like the use of the music, both uh, instrumental as well as lyrical in this film, so definitely give a lot of props to these guys. I'm not going to give it a rating. I don't do that for friend films, but I would definitely suggest you guys check it out. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. And like I said, check it out in the trailer below. You will be intrigued, I could definitely say. Anyways, that's all for me. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. You're probably wondering who I am. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say The Click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. You know, Nitz, you can't get more money unless you offer questionable favors. Yeah, guy.
Unless, of course, those favors involve the ladies, guy. By support, I mean getting the word out, guys. Oh, well, couldn't you find a better means than this guy? All he seems to talk about is supernatural or hold a coffee mug real awkward. Why didn't you ask a Kardashian or something? Yeah, guy. Get in with the ladies, guy. Hey, he's trying to help out. Like you've been trying with Kimmy Burton? I've seen Jabba the Hutt finish a marathon faster. Yeah, guy. You're a massive slug thing, guy. <sighs> to see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.